So for this demonstration, I've now got the, uh, the plug socket adapter into the socket circuit. Um, what we will do is I will conduct an RCD test using the Mega 1711 and it's on auto setting and as you can see set to 30 milliamps which is the rating of the RCD and we're on full auto so it'll go through the full sequence of the tests and then I'll be able to come back and simply press this button and scan through the whole range so off we go so as we can see it's displayed the frequency which is connected which is 50 hertz and it's displaying the current voltage that's being applied to the sockets so as soon as I press the test button, it doesn't matter whether I press this one or the one or the one on the uh, the other side here, and the test will will start. It's very fast. So we shouldn't have a trip. This one trip. And there we go, that's the test complete. So this is the results of an RCD test. And if we use this selector button here with the arrows on, uh, this is the half times test. Now, this particular machine only does one at zero degrees. So if we use the button here, we can see that at zero degrees, at one times test, um, it actually comes out as 37.4 milliseconds. And if we flick again, it's tripping over to uh, 180 degrees and it's 27 milliseconds and then the five times test how do we know that it's a five times test well there's a little five in the bottom there with an i next to it so it's five means five times trip current 14 milliseconds and then flick across to the 180 degree cycle it's 8.41 milliseconds so we can see that this then complies um, as the results are under 300 milliseconds for one times test and under 40 milliseconds for five times test. So now we've done the test with the, the actual machine, now what we need to do is just simply press this yellow button here to make sure that there is no damage taken place while we've been doing the test. It isn't a requirement of BS7671, but I always press it at the beginning of the test before I've actually put the machine onto it, and then I press it again at the end to make sure that there's no damage that's been sustained. And everything there seems to be functioning well, and it resets without any problems. Another function is the ramp test. And what that does is it tells us at what point this RCD will actually break. So I'll conduct that now. So it's telling us that on a 30 milliamp RCD, it's actually tripping out at 21 milliamps. So that's useful to know. And that concludes a series of tests.